Hey everybody, this is Kevin Nico from Electric Cowboy. And you're watching Chaos Scene. Welcome back to Finland again. How has the summer of 2024 been so far for you guys? Busy. Yeah. Exhausting. Yeah, very busy. But uh, absolutely fulfilling. Um, it has been a wonderful time that we had on tour. Like we played so many festivals in different uh, countries and we had such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely to hear. Your last visit to Finland was a year ago when you played a show at Tuska Festival 10 stage and there was so much crowd that even half of the people couldn't fit inside. Were you surprised on how popular you guys are in Finland? Uh, actually, yes, yes. <laughs> um, but that's that's one of the things, um, even if, if, it's, if we're busy and even if it's exhausting, that's actually what Kevin said. This is the fulfilling part to see so many people in front of the stage oh, yeah. um, cheering up and singing all of his songs with you and yeah. everything and like traveling whole Europe and, and the whole world and see so many people like Parting to your music and singing with you. This is actually the the, the reason why we we are doing this. It's Absolutely, um, and uh, especially when you travel to countries where you, you usually not go so much, it's so good to see that uh, yeah the people get the vibe. You know that's what we why uh, we're mu making music, and when the people get the vibe, we're very very satisfied and thankful. Amazing, amazing. Um, you guys recently released a new song, Ra -ta 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 -ta, <laughs> with I love Baby the Metal. How did the collaboration come into fruition, and what kind of experience was it to perform the song also live with them? Well, I think we first met on our last USA tour. No, yeah. the first USA tour that yeah. we did like together. Um, we met in Boston. Mm -hmm. They just they had a day off, I guess, and they wanted to come over, watch the show. And we had a little chat after it, and mm -hmm. I don't know. There was a special connection between us, and we just wanted to wow. do something together. And that I think that's how it started, right? That's how it started. And we we came back to Germany, and we talked about that song together. And that was a co-work. It was very sure and very important to us that we would uh, would have a collaboration, a 50-50 song, like not a feature track yeah, where you just exactly. like write the instrumental and then you tell you the other artist that like, that's your part. Mm -hmm. And that made it a little bit harder because, of course, we have both different ways of working. But it was so good and such a such an experience for us to step back a little bit, like from the usual way we work, and to see how other people work. And uh, it took us some versions, like up to version 20, 21. 21. Wow. Yeah. And then we wow. got to finalize the song, but it was an amazing experience. And as you said, like. Uh, writing the song was one thing but then the music video was absolutely amazing and that's pretty much where we got to know the girls more because we had two days to spend together yeah. and that was such a connection and it was clear when we would play that song together for the first time in japan on their very own festival fox fest uh yeah it was just yeah i mean amazing during during the uh, the video shoot we just yeah like we, we actually are friends right now they they oh, are super amazing. nice and wow. um, they have an amazing crew and uh, it's always whenever we meet and i th think we met three times or four times during this summer oh, um yeah. it's nice. always so cool and yeah just uh we could play the song two times a day yeah <laughs> that was so cool because we, we yeah, on were lucky Pest, enough. yeah we were example. lucky we were lucky enough to play it like yeah. on rock am ring in germany for example as wow. well we got I them on our stage we've been yeah. on their stage that's it's amazing it's a wonderful summer this yeah this year. speaking of you have had some pretty interesting guests on your songs so if you guys could pick a dream collaboration for you who would you like to work with in the future <laughs> Wow, um, that's a hard question. Like alive or not alive anymore? Is alive it? or dead. Okay, alive <laughs> or dead. So we could pick both, right? Like uh, a person that is not uh, not on Earth anymore would be for me, like two, would be first Freddie Mercury and second Chester Bennington. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I like crossovers, like our music consists of so many different genres. So we have techno and electronic music in our yes. songs and we always do that our, on our own. So one dream that I have is to have one one cool DJ like from, from the techno genre or the EDM genre that 
does only EDM music and to, to give us an EDM track oh, and that we put some cool. metal music around. Like we won't do the, the, the techno part, but the artist, that would be a cool couple collaboration. Also we like rap music. Mm. Yeah. So I mean not gonna it's not nice gonna limit. happen, yeah, not gonna happen, but I like <laughs> rap co collaborations. I, I love uh, Kendrick Lamar for example. Yeah, Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. Yeah. But I I, I have another pick actually, because I'm I'm totally in love with her style and with her music, how she's changing the whole pop industry. Uh, I think Billie Eilish would be the craziest oh, yeah. collaboration oh, wow. that I could That's ever think cool. of. I don't know. Do, do you have any other? I mean, artists? we have some so people, many. We have some people to call already. I mean, we can <laughs> leave it at that. Wow! Yeah. Sounds amazing. Well, what was the first band or artist you remember being fans of? Going way back with this oh, yeah. one. There's a German techno artist. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. His name is. Or was I'm, I don't know if he's still around, like still performing. Mark O, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he did this like techno rave music okay. in the 90s, oh. and that was pretty much my first ever own CD that I that I got. Oh, okay. And then like pretty pretty fast, it began for me with uh, yeah rock music from my daddy like. The old ones, Deep Purple, I was a big fan of Deep Purple, or even when it started with New Metal, Slipknot, or even was into Black Metal a little bit, Dimmu Borgia, I was a fan of, oh, oh, I was a fan of Dimmu cool. Borgia as well. Yeah, that um, was the beginning. I think for me it was actually, it's a band from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. um, my parents are a big fan of that band. Um, uh, it's called Gotthard. I don't know if you ever heard of those guys. Super cool, like the nicest music. Yeah, I'm totally in love, still in love with their music. Uh, but I think like when we were talking about the first CD that I bought by myself, it was actually a hybrid theory by Linkin Park, so um, wow. yeah. Amazing. Okay, well, if you guys weren't musicians, what would you be? <laughs> Uh, I mean, we had we had a life or yeah. had a life before we we'd been <laughs> yeah. musicians. So for me, it's not not a hard pick. I was a nurse mm -hmm. like um, back in the days. I, I think I would just stay there and and take care of people in some way or the other. Yeah. Okay, lovely. I I love to. I don't know. It's it's one of my characteristics, my personalities that that I like to when I'm passionate about something. I love to convince people by it, you know, like I, I love to transfer my passion and that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. But before um, the band started, um, I was working with cars and I'm a lot into cars and to like when you call cars a product, mm -hmm. I'd be selling cars maybe. That would be but because I love to drive cars and and if I'm passionate about it, I, I can easily sell them or whatever. So that was, this would be my thing. Something was, but I also want to be a, a, in an artsy oh. chapter. I don't know. Couldn't decide. Like, but it's very important. And I, there was a time when I thought like you have to do something, yeah, something basic, you know. But now that I'm a musician for many years, I know that you have to be in the first place. You have to be happy with what you're doing exactly. because you can never be successful when you're not happy what you, with what you're doing. So this is the most important thing. Yeah. Well, I think a dream pick for me would be actually being an ice hockey player. Oh. Yeah. But if I mean a boy can dream, that was always like when I was young. Mm -hmm. I was always like, oh, I want to be one of those, <laughs> like those tough guys, like cruising over the ice and and. I don't know, like <laughs> fighting with with other players and scoring goals and everything. Uh, yeah, the fuck the goals, just the fighting. <laughs> that, that would have been pretty, pretty nice. It's, uh, it's one of the greatest sports, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so. but really good, really Thank good you. choices there. Really good choices. How do you normally spend your time on tours? Um, so, what do you like to do between the shows? Any? Uh, of course, we we're can bore the fuck out. Yeah, of no, no, no. We, we're working out. Like in the in the first three hours of the day, we're working out. <laughs> Then we study some, some... <laughs> what? No, go ahead. <laughs> it's like uh, he's very, he's trying to be a doctor uh, next ah. to the music. Yeah. So okay. just, just kidding. 
just kidding, of course. I had a feeling. Yeah, <laughs> but we we like to play games. We we sometimes work on new songs. That we have to do it. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that very often because it's very hard for us because we have to concentrate. Mm -hmm. And when there are so many people around, it's hard to concentrate. Yeah. But yeah, we play games, video games. We rest because traveling is sometimes very exhausting. Mm -hmm. To be honest, like people when I'm at home, people always tell me, "Oh yeah, that must be so cool to be a musician." It is cool, but it's also exhausting. But but when like it's just traveling. It's just sitting on a bus or sitting on a plane but in the end of the day I'm like holy shit I need a bed yeah I, I can tell you I love these guys like <laughs> really they it's it's like family but um, full stop I'm enjoying my private time on tour that's actually ah, one mean, of the ah. things one of the things like calming down having some silence that you don't have at home mm -hmm. um, I mean, I miss home, don't get me wrong. Um, it's um, super homesick right now. Aww. But whenever we're on tour, it's like, cool, right now I have time to just do whatever I want, like gaming, watching movies, um, just peacefully on my own. Yeah. What is something you wish you'd see and hear more in the metal scene? People that uh, that dare something, you know, like that try out new things. I, I When we started uh, being a band, I mean, it's just 14 years, but I remember when we started being a band, it was like, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that, and oh, uh, this techno in, 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 in metal that doesn't fit. But in the end, it brought us where we are right now, and it was not al always very easy because there were so many people. When you, when you try something new, there are always people that don't like you. Yeah. You have to stand your ground because if you are convinced by what you're doing, you have the power to convince others and um, to transfer those feelings. So that's powerful. I want to see people that, yeah, that that dare something and, and try yeah. new things. That but not only answer. not only on stage and not only as being an artist and uh, or a musician. Um, I like the idea of. And I think it's changing right now, or it changed right after after COVID. It's a feeling, it's just a feeling, but getting more open-minded and more interested yeah. in new music. And uh, I mean, it's it's just a phrase, but don't judge a book by its cover. And mm -hmm. um, just be just be open-minded. And uh, yeah. yeah, and I can totally understand it because people usually use music. I mean, when, when they like music, they use it as a form of identification you know like they want to they want to be together when you're young you're, you're you're finding yourself you don't know who you are right now and like when you listen to your music and you find other that listen to the same music you, you like to be a group you know mm -hmm. um, and if somebody like takes what brings you together and put something new to it you might be offended you know because someone is taking your music away and and and, and defaults it and whatever but um, I, I, I see that people, as Nico said, come together more often and, and, and you can see it in our crowd when we play our shows at home, like our headline shows, there are so many different people. You couldn't tell what yeah. band they are listening to, you know, like when you watch uh, the crowd, it's like, could be anybody. A mixture of everyone yeah. Yeah. and that's lovely. Yeah. I love that. That festival is actually a good example of what we're talking about. I mean, there's so many different, different kind of music. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's a really good place to be at. Yeah. Well, your success have went just skyrocketing after the pandemic. Do you have any goals as a band that you would like to achieve in the future? Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> We sound like <laughs> philosophers sometimes because <laughs> like teachers or something, but we learn to be happy with what you are. Like mm -hmm. try to, to live in the moment because we, we experience that everything is rushing um, away so fast and time is running by so fast. And um, sometimes we have to sit on one of these sofas and look around and wow, we're in Finland and it's a beautiful weather and we're uh, playing a wonderful festival. but. Life would be very boring without any goals, you know, so we have small goals that we try to achieve. We appreciate everything that we have, no matter what, but I would like to play because I like big crowds. Ooh. And I would like, this is one goal, to play a stadium one day, a stadium. That was would be one one thing that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big goal, actually. But yeah. I mean, we learned over the, the past years that everything is possible. Um, and for, for me, it's actually finishing our new album. That's my first oh, goal. Yeah. And I don't know, like sticking our heads together, writing new songs and uh, creating some 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 new stuff for the people out there and for us. 
and uh, that's actually my first goal. And after that, we can talk about. For me, we can talk about that stadium thing. Cause, <laughs> um, yeah, that would be. I mean, sure, that would be so so cool. Yeah. Okay, lovely. What is something your fans don't know of you guys? Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents. Well, <laughs> I can. That's pr that's pretty embarrassing to be honest, because every beatboxer will tell me, dude. You can do nothing, but I have a pretty good snare sound that I can do with my with my with my mouth. Whoa! Um, can you play it? I can, yeah. Okay. If you want to hear it, but yeah, it's just, just really for all the beatboxers out. I've, I've never ever learned it. It's just a hidden talent. I would. Okay, ready? Yes. <coughs> ready? Okay. Yeah. Willst du willst du mal einsteigen? Ich kann's nicht. Okay, let's go. We don't need. We don't need uh, our computer anymore. You know the double bass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> He's good with his mouth. I know yeah. that already. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, thing is, uh, yeah, talents. No, music is my only talent. No, I. I think I'm a. I'm a nice person. That is talent. Uh, that is one talent that people can be proud of. But uh, I have things that make me annoying sometimes. Like. For example, like my 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 addiction to blow dryers is really really uh, yeah. It's like I love on this no idea. on this okay. tour yeah. I I always have my blow dryer with me, and wherever I am, no matter how hot or warm it is, I, I have my blow dryer running because I love just, the, the hot air. Just imagine one situation. It's I don't know like 35 degrees outside or more. Mm -hmm. The AC is. Running, running, like mm -hmm. it's not ecological. Everybody likes no. it, and he's like, "Oh, it's so cold in here. Let's <laughs> pull on the hairdryer." Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, it's, but you I actually have fin talents, man. Yeah, but, but the thing is, uh, and another annoying thing is that I pull feathers out of uh, uh, pillows. I pull the feathers out, and I form little, little balls with it, like with the feathers. I like. Yeah, but that's pretty satisfying, I think. This is so yeah. satisfying. Well, for him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the problem is, I don't notice it while I'm sleeping, so when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> there are all those little feather balls around my bed, you know? Oh, but shit. yeah. I already got a little bit of hints from you guys, but what does future hold for you? Do you have a lot of music uh, waiting to be released, or do you plan on releasing just singles, or is there a new album indeed? That Horizon. Yeah, that Should, seems think, to be the big question. Yeah, uh, yeah. Singles, because the, the the music industry has changed a little bit. Like, like single after single, or waiting for a whole album. Actually, we don't know exactly. I mean, we're gonna bring out some singles before the uh, the album release. But uh, yeah, new music. I mean, that there, there will be an album, but we have to be honest. There is not much that we actually created so far, because. Our summer was pretty busy. the The start of the year was pretty busy, but I think after the festival yeah. season, we are I mean, able to yeah I don't know like cage ourselves into the studio rooms and hibernation. Um, yeah, just we didn't work songs. too much. There might be only two or three hit singles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mega super hit singles waiting in our folders on our hard to drive. But sure, you know, I'm just sure. kidding. We, we always give our best, but you can't control it. You know, like you're going to the studio and yeah. We're keen to see what the future holds. Yeah, calls. thank you. Amazing. Finally, thank you a lot for your time. Oh, this absolutely. Been, You're very welcome for having this us. This has been amazing, and I hope that you have a kick-ass show oh, yeah. tonight. Anything you want to say as a closure to your fans? Um, well, you, especially to the fans of Finland, right? I mean, yeah. Before, uh, has somebody seen my luggage, my suitcase? I'm missing my suitcase. I wanted to ask that first. Uh, it, what was the color again? It was like it, it was like uh, lavender gray. Yeah, and it's waiting somewhere in Vienna. Maybe somebody has seen my luggage. I have no underwear, no T-shirts anymore. I'm missing it. And to our fans here in Finland, I would yeah, say guys, what, what we say. <laughs> I mean, we can't wait to hit the stage. We can't wait to sing with you guys, jump with you guys, dance with you guys, and uh, it's yeah. always a pleasure. Absolutely. Uh, And we feel very, and that's not only a phrase, we feel very comfortable here in your country and we're very honored to play so many good festivals and uh, let's uh, keep in touch and see you next time here in Finland. Thank you so Goodbye. much. Bye.